Hey there everyone, what's up? This is Aram here and today we are going to work with this project, the project we have created. Uh, sorry, we are going to create. Uh, it's a fast food project and I've already, um, you guys I think have seen the video of the overview of this project in the previous video was related about this. And if you haven't seen that, please go and watch that. In that I have described what we are going to do. It is a specifically a JavaScript project. So you guys can see that let me show you here when i scroll the mouse the navigation bar it changes the color and we are going to use some smooth scrolling for these um, navigation uh, nav links so let's go to the editor and start coding for this because i've already given you the overview of this project and you can see that in the previous video okay so here i'm in my vs code editor those who are here for the first time for the for them i'm using visual studio code and if whatever code editor you like you can go with that i've already already created a folder on my desktop and the folder name is javascript record it has three folders and these three folders are the images folder when we will code this one then you guys will understand that what what's going on here and actually, I'm not going to use all these three images folder because when I was preparing this project, I just copied the uh, images from there. When I was preparing, I prepared some sections. So just think about this images folder. Okay. Now let's create an index.html file. And now let's have a main.css. And then after let's go with a main.js. So from now we are going to use this JavaScript also and then I would like to go with the bootstrap extension bootstrap 4 extension. So here in the title, let's say uh, because it's a JavaScript focus project. So I just name it JavaScript and then I would like to link the style sheet here. So link related to the uh, related to the style sheet and I would like to go with the href and it's going to be main.css now I would like to have a JavaScript here so let's say let's have a uh, script and the source for the script is going to be main.js and let's close it okay and then after all, let me have some room here and I would like to have a First of all, let me tell you, um, uh, I would like to go with the Fawn Awesome icon. This is the Fawn Awesome website, so fawnawesome.com. And here in this section, you have to enter your email ad address, and then you, they are going to send you the, then you have to click on this button. They are going to send you the further instruction. Please follow that from your email, and then you guys will get the code. I have mine here. Let me copy this one, and let's paste it here in the head section. So here is the code for uh, here is a font awesome. Then I would like to go with the uh, with this one. This is Google font, and from here let's use the letter. And I'm just going to get the letter one here from this one. I would like to go with the 400, and then I would like to go with the 700, and then let's go with the 900. Okay, and then I would like to copy this code from here uh, let me copy this copy and let me put it here and let's paste it here and I would like to go with the CSS so I just like to copy this here is my CSS body paste the code save and save okay we have done with the main things now what I'm going to do uh, usually we create a um, navigation bar first. So first of all, in this project, we are not going to create a nav bar first. I just want to have a comments for the nav bar, and then we will have it by the end of the project, or it could be in the middle of the project somewhere. But right now, we are not going to start the navigation bar. Okay. So end of nav bar. It, it let it be here. Oh my god, my neighbor's neighbor's dog, he's just... Okay, so now let's start uh, coding for the hero section. 
and then as I've told you that we are going to code for the navbar um, could be at the end of this project or in the middle so not now but not now okay so let's start working for with the hero section so let me see hero section and then I would like to go with the end of hero section here now what I'm going to do here is just let me get the section element and in the section element let's have an ID the ID is going to be hero and then we have to go with the division assigning it a class the class is going to be hero container hero container then we have to go with the uh, with another division assigning it a class this class is going to be hero logo and then let's have an image and this image is img it is going to have a class and this class is going to have a source and the source is you know what i'm doing actually here in, i don't want sorry sorry just terminate i want to have a class here i just want to go with the source so the source for this is images and in images I do have a logo and the logo is PNG then I want to go with the alt and as usual or let me say this that burger palace okay it is going to be the name and then after <coughs> excuse me let's go with the heading one and the heading one is going to have a text welcome to burger palace palace okay then after let's have a heading two heading 2 and this heading 2 is going to be we have let's see lorem okay we have some the, the we have some undefinable tastes of um, burgers so and variations of burgers so let's say division assign it a class the class is going to be actions okay and then the actions are the series so let's say href and this href is going to be nothing right now and then it is going to have a class the class is going to be main one and then again i would like to say lorem ipsum ipsum and then i just want to copy the same code here and let me paste it here and it is going to be main main two and then it is let's say call let's say daily deals or deals um let me go with the daily deals okay let's save it and then after what we are going to do let's go to the uh, main server so I'm opening it with my live server okay so we have this logo here okay yeah let me tell you I've got it from free pick and from I, I didn't make any kind of changes here I didn't make any kind of changes here because I I was lazy so you guys you can change make the changes according to your own it's a it's a free one okay so from free pick Mm, freepick.com I think I don't remember the complete name uh, but it is from freepick okay now let's go to the style sheet and start styling this one so let's use the here we are so first of all let's say hero ID and uh, then we have to use the display uh, spelling of the display and this display so the display is going to be table 
and the width of this is going to be 100 percent then we have to say that the height is going to be 100 view height and let's use the background so where is the background the background is going to have an uh, you have a URL should have an image and it is going to be images and let's say steak burger.jpg so then I want to say top and center the position of the size and position of the background and now I would like to sorry the position and uh, size I'm going to describe here which is background the background size size is going to be cover okay let's save it here we are okay so we do have a hero image here and this is our hero image okay now what we have to do next is to find some media and the minimum rate for this is going to be 1024 pixels where the hero is going to have a background and this background um, attachment is going to be fixed okay and then we have to go with the hero logo and margin I would like to share it to 20 pixels for me the 20 pixel was working I have used some other sizes but okay and it is going to work don't worry it is going to work okay the image uh, margin and then now we have to go with the hero and again the hero logo and here I'm going to work with the image so the image is the max uh, width of this image is going to be 25% okay let's save it and hey you where are you going okay so it's here now what we have to do next is let's work with the hero container and the container um, spelling of containers okay container is going to have a background the background is going to be with RGBA 18 19 then 19 and 0 0.4 okay and then we have to go with the display here and the display is going to be table cell then you have to use the margin here which is going to be zero and then let's use the padding which is also going to be zero let's use the text um, text align <coughs> is going to be center let me bring it here okay and now we have to go with the vertical alignment so the vert vertical align is going to be middle middle and then we have to say that let's go hero heading one and the margin for this is going to be 30 pixels 0 and 10 pixels and then 0 and let's use the font weight font weight is going to be let's use 700 and let's have a line height the line height is going to be 48 um, pixels then we have to go with the text transform and it is going to be uppercase then we have to say that the color for this is going to be white okay let's save it let's see what's going on okay so we have a logo 
to welcome message. So we have to work with this heading two and these links or the buttons. Okay. Now let's go to the media and here the maximum the max width for this is going to be 768 pixels where the hero is going to have a heading 1 and the font size for this is going to be 28 mm, pixels then let's use the line height and the line height for this is going to be 36 pixels and I've made a mistake here so okay then we have to go with the um, heading 2 so the heading 2 it's hero okay so the heading 2 is going to have a color the color is going to be white then let's use the margin margin bottom actually and here it is going to say 50 pixels and then after let's say at media max width is going to be 768 pixels and let's say the sorry the hero uh, heading 2 heading 2 is going to have a font size this font size is going to be 24 pixels then we have to use a line height and this line height is going to be 26 pixels not 27 26 pixels and then we have to use the margin bottom margin bottom and it is going to be 30 pixels now we have to go with the uh, heading 2 again and actually first of all let me check something if I need it or not okay because uh, when I was working with that one with this one I practiced many things I add I removed so Mm, I don't think that we need that here okay so I'm not going to add that here but now let's go and work with the mm, <laughs> uh, let's work with the actions or, or the CDs so the hero uh, not the class and ID what I'm doing here okay the ID is hero and let's use the actions class with the link and the text is uh, let's use the text transform property which is going to be uppercase and then we have to use the font font weight and here let's use bold then we have to go with the font size the font size for this is going to be 16 pixels and then we have to use the letter spacing so the letter spacing for this is going to be one pixel and then we have to use the display display is going to be inline um, inline block actually so inline block and then we have to go with the padding so the padding is going to be eight pixels and then it is going to be 20 pixels and then let's use the border radius so the border radius for this is going to be 2 pixels and let's use the transition here so the transition is going to be 0 0.5 seconds and let's use the margin and the margin is going to be 10 pixels okay let's save it and let's see what's going on um, okay so we have to find enough margin between these two links now we have to uh, style them let me have a glass of water and then we will continue
Let me check something else. Okay. Now let's um, style the these links or the buttons. So what we have to do, we have a main one class. So by using this main one, let's use the background. The background for this is going to be um, ev line zero a uh, three. No, I don't want this color. It is going to be eb9a. Okay, so here is the color. Let's use the border, and it is going to be two pixels solid. And then we have to use the same color. And then let's say the color of the text is going to be black, and then font weight. It is going to be bold okay now we have to use the let me get the same selector copy this paste it here let's say hover and here let me use the background so the background is going to be um, none okay but on the border is going to have a two pixel solid with the uh, white and the, the body is going to be white let's use the color and the color is also going to be white and now let's save it and let's see okay so it is and you know what let's say text decoration it is going to be none okay now it's looking good okay now we have to work with this second button so for this one main 2 and the main 2 is going to have a border so the border is going to be 2 pixels solid white and then we have to say that the color for this is also going to be white now we have to use the hover uh, effect on this so mean to hover and uh, background background is going to be eb9 a03 and then they have to go with the border so the border is again going to be two pixels solid and yes okay oh you know we have to use the text um, decoration for this one also so the text not test text decoration it's going to be none let's save it okay so it is it's looking nice okay now we have done with the hero image or the hero section let's go and start working let me remove this one and this one and now we have to work with this um kind of about a section so why we here we are and let's go to the editor and let's start working with this second about a section so here we'll let's go to the index and let's have a comment here for about us and let's say end of about us okay save it so first of all, I would like to go with the duration here. Uh, let's go, okay, let's go with the duration. Assign it a class. The class is going to be about. Oh, you know what? 
Let me have a section element, okay? So okay. About and then we have to go with the um, margin top is going to be five. And then we have to say that actually I have to use this margin top class here with the section. Let's see if it is how how does it work? It's a new way of working. And let's have a division assigning it a class. The class is going to be container. And then we have to go with another division assigning it a class. This class is going to be raw. And then you have to go with another division assigning it a class. And this class is going to be column large five. Okay. Let's have a division assigning it a class. This class is going to be section section header. And then let's use the heading two element. We are we are going to assign a class. This class is going to be text um, upper case. And then we have to say why we. Okay. After this. Let's have a division assigning it a class, and this class is going to be a about text. And then we have to go with a division assigning it a class, and this class is going to be about image. And then we have to go with the division assigning it a class. This class is going to be raw again. And then we have to go with the division, assigning it a class. This class is going to be column 6. Okay. Now, what we have to do here, let's have an image attribute. And let's say image is going to have a images. And the first image, I would like to go with steak burger. And... You know, um, let's have a. I, I'm not going to do this here. And again, I'm just copying this one. And I just want to paste it here. And here, I would like to change the image. And this time, the image is going to be fries. And then we have to go with. Uh, not, not this one, sorry. The same, but let me change the image here. And here, the image is going to be one dot burger one dot jpg. And then another image. And this time, the error is going to be, you know, burger salad jpg. Okay. So I'm sure we do have some yeah massive and you know look at the images yeah we don't we don't have to look at them now then after this we have to go with a p element with some dummy text and the text is going to be of 20 words then they have to use a link here and let's see um the class is going to be bdn then this about bdn and let's have a text here a, a link here uh, i'm not going to do this right now but we will do this okay book a table Let's save it and then after here we have to go with another the division assigning it a class and this class is going to be column large seven and then division assigning it a class and this class is going to be raw. Then again we have to go with the division assigning it a class and this class is going to be column small six. And then let's have a division, assigning it a class, and this class is going to be about 
details uh, so the all the description all the details is going to be here detail is going to be here and then you have to go with the fun awesome icon class and this class is going to be f a s f a uh, utensils okay now we are working for this side okay this one these uh, these utensils and all these things so these utensils means these this icon okay the fork and the knife fork and knife and then we have to go with the uh here let's say heading three uh, sorry heading three and the heading three is going to say professional chefs and we would like to go with the p element again but you know my p is capital so the p element is going to have some text of 15 words let's save it you know what i'm thinking uh, okay let me finish this one so don't go with my thinking okay and then after we have to what i have to do is Just for my convenience and for yours also what I'm going to do let me copy this one let's paste it here and I just want to change the uh, this this for awesome icon class uh, it is going to be pepper hot pepper hot and the title to the heading this heading is going to be organic product and then after mm, yeah, there could be a I think there, there would be a mistake no okay let me copy and paste it here again and this time it is going to be um, FASFE stamp and then after we have to say that um, you know what because I, I am having some sort of confusion here First of all, let me go to the main style sheet and first of all, let's style the first section, the images section. So it is not going to make mess um, with that one. So with the images, let, let me check uh, something and then we can go with that. Um, Okay, here let's use the comments first of all. The command, the command, let's say about section, and in the about section, here we have to use the about class where the position look at the mistake I've made. I don't know. Okay, the position is going to be relative and the width for this is going to be 100%. Then we have to use the padding and it is going to be 45 pixels and 0, 0 and 0. Okay, and then we have to go with the um, section header. So the section header class, uh, section header. And the section header class is going to have a margin this margin is going to be margin bottom and it's going to be 30 pixels okay and then we have to use the uh, about and about text class and this is going to again have a position so this position is going to be relative let's use the width and this width is going to be 100%. Okay, 
now here uh, we have to go with the image and where I would like to go with the border radius the border radius is going to be 15 pixels and then we have to say margin bottom margin bottom it is going to be 25 pixels then we have to use the overflow uh, overflow is going to be hidden and you know what Let, let's check and let's see I'm, I'm not this one here we are and okay so it is better than before okay now the things are better here so first of all let's finish this section and then we'll back and finish the style section okay I just want to see uh, these columns okay these uh, this text section okay so images are almost settled we'll set them don't worry about them okay so we have done until the images now we have to go back and here and other it's not going to be professional chefs but it is going to be a quality product okay so let's see quality quality products and then here in this section mm, FAS FA stamp and then we have to use FAS FA cloud meat ball and this one is going to say fresh meat so fresh meat and then we do have another one and here it is going to be truck FASFA truck and uh, on time delivery the heading 3 is going to be on time on time delivery and then we have to go with another one uh, okay it's here so this is going to be a fish here and the heading here is going to be seafood or low fat okay low fat products let's see low fat products so we do have a fish here okay now we have to go back to the style sheet and now start styling this one okay so we have done until this section and now we have to work with the uh, image about image um, we have word about image and then we have to get the column six class okay and now what we are going to do here actually the column six and um, let me check something so 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 I've made a mistake here let me let me find it and I'll, I'll get back to you guys okay so I, I thought that I've made a mistake but I've checked it's it's not so let's continue so here let's have a padding the padding is going to be zero and then we have to use the overflow which is going to be hidden and then here let's use the about image with an image uh, element here and we are going to say width of this is going to be 100% and then we have to say that the transition where is the uh, 
the, the transition is going to be 0 0.3 seconds 0.3 seconds let's save it let's move on to the browser okay so hmm, look what it is going on uh, how, it, how it looks like now while it hasn't to be like this it it shouldn't have this behavior and yes you know what this is 100 percent so okay so by having a 100 percent we are going to have four images here now what is next is the next is button so i'm talking about this book a table so here what we are going to do is uh, first of all let's have something else then we will move on to the button about and then about image and then image um, hover actually so the hover uh, is going to have a transform property where we are going to use the scale the value is going to be 1.1 okay let's save it okay so you can notice that okay it has a nice slight effect of hover now let's use the um, button here so the button is going to be the, the width of the button is going to be 100 percent okay 100 percent and the margin top is going to be 15 pixels and then we have to use the margin um, bottom which is going to be 45 pixels okay let's save it and let's move okay so it is here now now we have to go with the um, about BDN and this button is going to have a background so the background of this button is EB9A03 and what we are going to do we should have a border here the same border properties as I've used in the beginning so solid and uh, I got again the same color and then you have to go with the color text color is going to be black now we uh, the font weight so the font weight is going to be bold and let's go to the browser okay I need to refresh it okay you know why it's not working uh, so what I have to do is okay so it is working now we have a table book a table button now let's style this section so here we want the gradient uh, gradient color uh, to the icons and there is a nice kind of a moon at the back of these icons so let's go and start working on this thing so here now we have to go work with the detail section so let's say about and about detail and about detail is going to be the width of this is going to be 100 percent and then we have to go with the margin the margin is going margin bottom actually and margin bottom uh, is going to have a 45 pixels and okay let, let's save it and let's see okay 
okay so there is a slight margin now what we have to do next is we have to work with the icons uh, about detail and then element i element now let's use the position position is going to be relative then display is going to be block then we have to use the color the color same eb9 a03 and then let's have a font size the font size is going to be 60 pixels and let's use the line height which is going to be 15 pixels and let's use the margin bottom and let's say linear linear gradient and then we have a again eb eb90 9a03 and the next one is going to be f11 b1 and b c5 oops it's five okay and what we have to do next is but let's save it okay first of all let's see how okay so you know cannot see the gradient effect here there is a maybe I've made a, any kind of mistake or there should be a, there be a problem because it uses this color and the background yeah I have used it with margin bottom oh gosh so the line height what I have done here actually you know the line height is also uh hold on please it is not going to be here it is going to be this is going to be here and this one the 60 pixel is going to be here and now i have to use a background image oh my apologies the background image linear uh, let me check again, okay? Hmm, again, you cannot see this. Uh, let me check. Let me check it again. Yeah, here. It is image not IMG okay so you guys can see that we do have that gradient effect but it is uh, it spreads and uh, it's not looking good so for this what we have to do next is let's use the background clip and let's say text and then oh, I choose the text fill color and you know it is not going to be like this it's to be trans A mistake and you know what is a mistake I need to use a prefix prefix here so let's use webkit and text fill color so it is going to be transparent and okay and here also I have to use a prefix actually webkit back on clip okay and okay okay so now it's looking nice and better now we have to do some more things so we have to use these prefixes okay and then after we have to go with the about 
and about um, detail icon and let's use the pseudo element after and pseudo class and then we have to use a position absolute then the content for this is nothing then we have to use the width the width of this is going to be 40 pixels and the height is going to be the 40 pixel then we have to use the top is this going to be minus 10 pixels and we have to use the left which is going to be 20 pixels and background the background is going to be again e9 eb9 a03 uh, and then we have to go with the border radius so the border radius for this is going to be 30 pixels let's use the z index and it is going to be minus one okay okay so you guys can see the nice uh, the, the round shape at the back of this and the each um, each icon okay now what we have to do next is let's say about and about detail with heading 3 where the font size is going to be 22 pixels and the font weight what it is going to do is going to be bold let's save it and okay so you guys can see that the heading it's looking nice and it's looking cool let's check the responsiveness of this one so okay everything stacked nicely on top of each other so okay now let's create this and uh, this section where is this one okay this uh, sorry this deals of the day section okay so in the editor let me check the time of recording okay so here in the index.html we are here and let me remove these extra spaces and then after this one let's have a um, deals of the D section or deals section so end of the let's say deals okay and here we go and what we have to do next is let's have a section element here again and within this let's go with the division assigning it a class the class is going to be section margin top it is going to be five then we have to use the division assigning it a class and this class is going to be container fluid and the fluid fluid and then we have to use a division assigning it a class and this class is going to have a section title with text center. Let's have a heading 3 with deals of the day. Okay, deals of the day. So let's make it up, okay. capitalize. Okay. And now we have to go with the um, with the next div. We 
military division, assigning it a class. This class is going to be raw. Then let's have another division and have me have a glass of water and then we will start again. Okay, so division is going to have a class and this class is going to be column medium 3. Then we have to go with another division, assigning it a class, and this class is going to be deal box, okay? And then after, just have a division only, not going to assign any class, I just want to wrap it within this division, and let's have a image, images, the first image is burger1. Uh, dot jpg and let's assign it a class this class is mm, here this class is going to be image fluid uh, the alt is going to be as usual nothing and then after let's have a heading 2 which is going to be, I'm just calling it beef, beef cheese, okay. I know it's not uh, meaningful, but it, for the demo, it's good, okay. And then we have to go with the deal BDN uh, button and href. And then we have to go with uh, some amount let's say sixteen dollars okay let's save it on to the browser not this one we are here and we have a image the title and the link now what we are going to do next is to copy and paste so I'm going to copy it from here and let me paste it here and I just want to change first of all the title let's see okay something and this time the image is going to be image 2 and yes I've got all these images from pexels.com okay I've got all these images from pexels.com and I think it is necessary to let you know that from where I've got these images and mm -hmm, mm -hmm, yeah we do have a second image now let's have a third image with through uh, here it is going to be image 3. Let's change the price uh, 14. And again, it is okay. Let it be like this. And let's see what we are doing here. Okay. The next one is going to be, I think it is going to be fourth. And this one is going to be 12. And let's, let's change it with blah 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 cheese. And okay, so we have one, two, three, four. What I'm going to do next is having one. This one is going to be fifth one. And let's see. This and the price is going to be okay. Let's go with the same price. Then we would like to go with the image six. Again, yeah, let's see. Okay, and the price for this is going to be $20. And let me 
me check actually yeah I just want to check the images that whether I do have perfect images for these or not so I do have um, then I want to go with the uh, image 7 and here it is going to be uh, price let them same the, uh, the title is also let it be same okay so I do have a and I need another image in this last image it is going to be the you know it's not going to be six oh seven here it is going to be image like a salad and let's see wait let me check so 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 I need one more right no it's done so we have done with this section now we have to go to the style.css and start styling this section like this okay so like this we have to style all these images like this this section this section like this okay so what we are going to do we have to go to the main.css and here in the main.css what I'm going to do is let's get the deal box so first of all let me go with the comments here and it's going to be deal section and with this deal section let's have a deal box and the deal box is going to have a padding which is going to be 30 pixels and then after what I'm going to do is I would like to go with the background so let's say the background for this is the same and the margin bottom margin um, bottom it is going to be 30 pixels and the border radius border radius is going to be 0 pixels and then 10 pixels and then after what we have to go with is box sorry the box shadow so the box shadow is going to be 0 7 pixels 10 pixels and again the same color and then we have to use the text alignment which is going to be center okay and let's let's see that okay it is here okay the background color and everything is looking nice and now we have to go with the deal box heading 2 where the font size is going to be 18 pixels and then we have to go with the font weight which is going to be 4 uh, 400 and let's use the margin top margin top is going to be 20 pixels and now what we have to do next is uh, not here sorry uh, deal box link and with the link let's use the color the color is going to be white then let's use the background the background is going to be D17 and 103 okay and then we have to go with the padding the padding is going to be 10 pixels and then 18 pixels and then we have to go with the font size the font size is going to be 16 pixels now let's use the box shadow the box shadow is going to be 0, 0 and 1 pixels and then we have to uh, use the EFE a kind of a uh, gray not completely but kind of okay let's save it now let's work with the deal button uh, I just need to check that whether I have okay 
so yeah we do have a deal button here class i thought that i didn't um, mention it but we do have so deal bdn so what we are going to do with this deal button class let's use the display display for this is going to be inline block and then we have to use the vertical align vertical alignment is going to be middle and then we have to use the transform transform and the transform is going to be perspective and the perspective is going to be one pixel and let's use your translate z actually not y so z is going to be zero and then we have to use the box shadow the box shadow is again going to be 0, 0, 1 pixel, then RGBA, and it is going to be 250, then again 250, 250, and then 0. Okay, and what we have to do next, let me, let me fill, have a semicolon here, let's have a position. So the position for this is going to be relative, and now let's use the transition. Uh, property actually so transition property this is going to have a color and let's use the transition duration so the transition duration is going to be 0 0.3 seconds and then after we have to use the deal button before so for this let's use the deal BDN and it is going to be before and here we have to go with the content the content is going to be uh, right now nothing then we have to use the position which is going to be absolute and we have to use the z index and it is going to be minus one let's use the top the top is going to be zero the left is also going to be zero and the right is also going to be zero then bottom is also going to be zero then okay excuse sorry and then we have to use the bottom background so the background for this is going to be um, black and then we have to go use the transform so the trans transform is going to have a scale and you know spelling of the scale scale i'm going to use one uh, only and then we i have to use the transition and not only transition but a uh, transition property so transition duration also i need and first of all let me use the transition uh, property so the transition property is going to be transform and um, the duration is going to be 0 0.3 seconds and then we have to use the transition timing function so the tra transition transition timing function and it is going to be ease sorry ease out and then what I'm going to do next is uh, we have to go with the deal BDN and let's use the hover and this time the hover and then have a deal BDN focus and then we have to use the uh, focus and then we have to use the sorry deal BDN active and now we have to use the color so the color is going to be white okay now the next thing is let me get all these three selectors I just want to copy them and paste them here and just <clears throat> here after this hover I would like to use before and the next one is also I would like to use before you guys can see I am not able to speak more to talk more so after this I'm going to stop this video here and the next in the next part we will 
finish it and let, let's have a scale here zero and it is done so you know you guys can understand that how my voice is um, it, it is not so clear now I'm, I'm tired of speaking too much talking too much so let me show you that what we have done with this section when I hover over this button a nice transition a rectangle transition is uh, happening here so this is what we have done we have to do with uh, we have to work with the navigation bar which we haven't done yet and then we have to work with the with the slideshow the blog section and the footer section in the next video so don't forget to watch the second part of this video first of all let me show you the uh, responsiveness of this section all this these three sections so um, the hero image the about a section and then here is the deal section so we have done until now I'll see you uh, in the next video if you guys like this one don't forget to if you didn't subscribe this channel yet don't forget to subscribe it and if you like this video give a thumbs up and in the next video we are going to work with the navigation bar plus the other the rest of the bar of this uh, website okay so i'll see you in the next one hasta la vista ciao ciao